Oh, looks like you've caught me having a brew. Mmm, <laughs> my favourite mug. So, I wanted to talk to you today um, about the world's first pure mathematician. His name was Pythagoras. Okay, and he lived, well, he was born 659 BC and born on the island of Samos, which is in Greece. This is why when people say maths, well, it's all Greek to me. It was the Greeks who kind of come up with it. So, Pythagoras, very famous for coming up with a theorem which relates to a right angle triangle. Now, a right angle triangle is sometimes referred to as a three, four, five triangle. Three, four, five. This is because by those dimensions, if you put them together to make a triangle, it will always be a right angle triangle. Now, how do I know that is a right angle triangle? Because there's 90 degrees up here. Opposite the 90 degrees is the longest side of the right angle triangle. That's called the hypotenuse. Now, according to Pythagoras' theorem, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides, or how you guys learn it in school, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. Now, I had no idea what that meant when I was at school. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't fathom it. I didn't even know what a square number was. A square number is a number times by itself. So, for example, three times three is nine. Or we physically take three and turn it into a Square, funny enough, that's why it's called a square number. Well, there it again, what? Four times four is 16, or I take four and I turn it into a square. And of course, the last one being five times five, which is 25. I'm gonna cheat and use some big squares just so I can do it nice and quickly. So, let's whiz back in time to ancient Greece where we're hanging out with our man Pythagoras and he's mucking about with his triangles. So we've effectively squared the sides of our right angle triangle. We know it's a right angle triangle because there is 90 degrees up in this corner. Opposite the 90 degrees is the longest side of the right angle triangle. It's called the hypotenuse. Sometimes easy to remember because it sounds like a hippopotamus nose. Anywho, according to Pythagoras, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Or, how you guys learn it in school, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Oh, where c is the hypotenuse. And it is as simple as that. And the cool thing is this type of mass has been used to send people into space to understand how satellites work. It is such a simple, cool bit of maths, um, which I just get a big kick out of. So anyway, guys, there we are. That is Pythagoras' theorem in a nutshell. Go out there, make some cool right angle triangles. See what you can do. As always, happy building. Wash your hands. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.